Yo, what is going on guys? It's Kobe, here today with the first of a couple videos where I'm going to be trying to explain the fastest way to acquire the diamond camos with every class of weapon, and I'm going to be doing this in order of popularity, uh, and being that SMGs run the show in this game, I'll be starting off with those, and I'm just going to try to give you some pointers and some tips to obviously get the diamond camos as fast as possible, but to also help you avoid doing things that will also slow the process down. Now, like I said, I'm going to be starting off with the SMGs, and these are definitely going to be the easiest. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have these already, and if you don't, it's probably because you weren't really going for them but uh, since you're watching this video I'm guessing you're fairly interested now so starting off the first thing that I want to tell you guys and get really embedded into your head is to use the highest weapon possible all the time and don't just stick with one weapon and leveling that up to gold and I'm gonna say this in every one of these videos because you know it's really important now you guys may be wondering you know why not just finish one gun and then move on to the next and the reason for it is because you have to remember that you unlock guns at different levels so you know if you're going for all the diamond camels as fast as possible you never really want to have no weapons to work on so for an example most people will get the mp7 and the pdw to gold first because they're both obviously like really good weapons but you also unlock them first also however once you prestige you're left with no weapons to work on and will be forced to use a permanent unlock which is fine but if you're just constantly working on the highest leveled weapons you have you'll never have to worry about that the second tip that I have for you is for the people that actually level up and prestige their weapons. I know a lot of people really don't care about it. You know, you do get more XP for doing the challenges again, uh, as well as like the ability to add your clan tag and the emblem onto your weapon. But still, I totally understand, you know, the guys that see it as a waste of time. But for you guys like me that do prestige their weapons, this is pretty important. So as I'm sure you guys know by now, you first have to either complete the headshot challenges or the one-shot kill challenges to unlock the rest of the camo challenges. So with SMGs, we of course going for the headshots. Now, once you get those headshots, you get a bunch of camos to unlock, you know, including uh, two for getting kills without perks and without attachment. So obviously, you probably want to do those at the same time. But what I also recommend is to prestige your weapon right before you do those, uh, because after you do, you won't have attachments. But since you're going for kills without attachments, it won't really matter as much. So, you know, you don't really have to do that, but that's what I did, and I would definitely suggest you do the same uh, if you want. Now, lastly, with pretty much all the SMGs, you will get through all the camo challenges fairly easy, and, you know, all the SMGs are really good. But the one that I see the most people having problems with is getting headshots with the Chicom or the Chicom, whatever you guys want to call it, uh, which is the Burst Fire SMG. Now, what I suggest that you equip is the stock and the laser sight attachment. With the stock, you can strafe faster while aimed in, and obviously with the laser sight, you can get increased hip fire accuracy. What I personally don't suggest, though, is using the select fire and making it fully automatic. Trust me, it was a lot easier just running around hip firing towards the head. I got way more headshots, and it was just a lot more effective. Uh, again, that was just me personally, though. But like I said, the SMGs are pretty damn easy to get diamond on, so if any of you guys don't have it and decide to go for them, I'm fully confident that you won't have any really problems with it. One last thing though I want to add just in case you guys aren't aware, the Peacekeeper is separate so you don't have to get that in gold to get the standard weapons in diamond. But that's the end of the video, if you could leave a rating that would be really awesome and much appreciated. And if you go out and use these tips or maybe you have some tips of your own, feel free to share those in the comments. I'm pretty sure somebody could use the extra information and I just personally like to see what you guys can come up with. Also how many of you guys actually have the diamonds SMGs already? You know I got them really early into the game uh, but I actually went for them so it wasn't all that hard. But anyways guys check out either of the videos on screen if you missed them, I got a ton of videos coming soon. It's ridiculous. My list is full. And uh, just have a great day. Peace.